how to connect QuickBooks API with Make.com. Now, basically, if you're tired of manually handling repetitive tasks and wish you could automate workflows without writing a single line of code, well, today we're diving into Make.com. It is a powerful automation platform that promises to streamline your business and personal tasks with ease. Now, before we get started, all of the mentioned tools will be on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. Now, Make.com, formerly known as an Intogromat, is a visual automation platform that allows users to make or connect different apps and services to create workflows, also known as scenarios. Unlike traditional coding-based automation, Make.com uses a drag-and-drop interface making it beginner-friendly but also powerful enough for advanced users. Whether you're automating email notification, syncing data between different tools, or managing complex business processes, Make.com provides a flexible way to make things happen without manual effort. So right now, we are inside our Make.com account right here. And once you have logged in into your account, you will go ahead and see your own organization, your team, your scenarios, which is going to be your automation process right here. You have your template, connection, webhooks, keys, devices, and basically more. Now, let's just go ahead and say that I want to go ahead and transfer some of the automations right here to some of my clients or to my organization. Now, I'm inside the templates for make.com and I'll just go ahead and choose a random automation process right here. Since we're focusing on QuickBook, you can just go ahead and search for QuickBook right here and right after that, the templates for QuickBook will appear on your screen. From there, you can go ahead and search another API or applications. So as an example, let's go ahead and search basic ones like Google Sheets. And from here, you simply want to click on the other application. Now from here, it will basically go ahead and search QuickBooks with Google Sheets. And we have templates like save a new QuickBook invoices to a Google Sheets spreadsheet. You also have another template called create a sale receipt in QuickBooks from customer details in a Google Sheets spreadsheet. You have save new QuickBook customers to a Google Sheets spreadsheet, which is really useful. And lastly, you have something like this one, which is a very long scenario that you can go ahead and apply for your QuickBook API. Now, this is just an example right here. If you want to go ahead and use another applications, you're free to do so. As an example, we have templates like QuickBook with Microsoft Excel. You have this one right here, which is once again a very long scenario. You have Google Drive and more. You can just go ahead and select one of the templates right here if you want to go ahead and use them. And you will be taken to this page where you can click on the start guided setup or create new scenario from template. So you can just go ahead and click on this button right here. And right after that, you will be able to customize this specific template or scenario the way you want to. If you want to go ahead and change something, it's really simple. Now that you're inside the template, you can just go ahead and do something like clicking on some of the scenarios right here. And from there, you will be able to create your own webhook to customize this the way you want to. Now, what I'm showing you right now is just a template for the specific QuickBooks API right here. But of course, you can just go ahead and start from scratch if you want to go ahead and do that. Now, to get started, you want to head back to your dashboard right here. And you can just go ahead and click on the create a new scenario button. From here, we can now go ahead and get started with our automation or scenarios. In here, you simply want to go ahead and type your API. In our case, it's going to be QuickBooks. Hit on enter and a list will appear right here on which you can go ahead and choose. From here, we have something like the QuickBooks Verify API key. You have a new trigger get an invoice or get a bill. Let's just go ahead and get started with new event right here, which will basically trigger an event if we created something from the webhook. So you can just go ahead and click on create a webhook. And now we can go ahead and basically get started with our quick AI. The first thing that you want to do is to go ahead and create a connection. 
from there it will then go ahead and show us this additional menu you have your connection name i'll just go ahead and leave it at default click on save and it will basically open up another window on which we can go ahead and connect our intuit account so you can just go ahead and log in your account right here and you can proceed by connecting your quickbook account basically right after connecting your account you can now go ahead and click on this button to add another module on which you can go ahead and connect all sorts of application for example if you want to connect your quickbooks with something like data store slack which is another interesting ai automation tool you have google calendar pinterest appify and basically everything that you need will be on the make.com website right here so as an example let's go ahead and connect our quickbooks to google form in here you have templates like search forms create a form get a form date a form and more let's click on create a form right here so in that way if something happens on our quickbook account it will basically create a form from the google forms application right there you can just go ahead and create a connection once more click on sign in with google and all you have to do is to basically go ahead and log in your account to connect it to your api or scenario right here now basically right after creating your scenario you can just go ahead and click on the save button or if you want to try this scenario out you simply want to click on run once it will go ahead and run the scenario to see if it works on your application or apis after making sure that it have worked on your api you can now go ahead and click on the save button right here and just beside that you have something like the scenario inputs if you go ahead and click on it it will open this menu right here where you can define your own inputs you have your scenario settings you have something like notes you have your previous version auto align and lastly you have this button right here that is the more button if you go ahead and click on this button you will be able to explain your flow export your blueprint to download your whole scenario right here or import a new blueprint besides that you have your own flow control you have your tools text parser quickbooks and our google forms if you want to add another function right here you can just go ahead and click on the quickbooks logo select your function and it will basically add it into our scenario right here well now that you know on how you can go ahead and connect quickbooks api with make.com you can just go ahead and customize your scenario the way you want to once again you can basically go ahead and connect this into all sorts of application and one of the prime examples right here is going to be google forms google sheets and more and so guys if this video has been helpful leave us a like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one and as always thank you